Ladies, long time no see, Leon Trotsky here bringing you some Battlefield 3 gameplay, and what I'm doing for you today is showing you how to fly the jets. It's simple stuff, guys. It's simple stuff. Spawn this jet in the beginning. If you don't know, uh, basic stuff, right trigger goes, left trigger break, uh, down on the, you know, thumbstick, your basic, basic controls. You gotta learn how to, you know, flip the bird around, stuff like that, and you'll figure it out. The Once you get the basic flight controls down, it's pretty simple stuff. The biggest thing, I've watched a few jet tutorials, and the biggest thing that everybody leaves out is the balancing of using the right trigger and the left trigger. Uh, the gas and the brake, basically. Uh, you gotta slow down going into turns to turn sharper. You gotta gas going out of turns to get out of it faster and continue with the turn. You really have to learn how to balance the, the two weapons. Look at this other jet. Fail! <laughs> suck some of these jets in this game they they were horrible but uh we still manage it the the upgrades that i'm flying with this is very important stuff and this is something i want to talk about because there's a patch that's coming out recently you know some people think the jets are underpowered or something you need to learn how to fly this jet and use the machine gun to take people down because the other weapons in the jet are much more valuable you'll see me today i have the rocket pods unlocked and that's what i'm using in this gameplay and it is very valuable against tanks and ground targets making flanking routes on them um but here you see me you know you know going in and out of the cockpit view when you're in the cockpit view it makes it much easier to shoot them down and it's really just learning to keep the reticle in front of the target anticipating where the enemy is going to be flying into and just leading them with your shot that's your basic goal for shooting. Uh, here you see I did stall out up top, and you just kind of want to balance it in, turn to the left, and then gas on it as soon as you catch on. And I come down here, and I will admit the other jet that I have in the air with me was also doing work, and I just got a few vehicle destroyers. Uh, the biggest tip I can point out, another big tip, um, is basically in how you're holding your controller. Uh, in general, I usually have my, my, with the left, obviously the firing is with the left bumper. Uh, or, you know, L1, whatever you are. This is for consoles, if you haven't figured that part out yet. But, basically, I like to hold uh, the left trigger, usually with my first finger, my, you know, pointer finger or whatever. But, actually, I've started holding it when I fly in the jets. You hold it with your middle finger, and then you actually can fire and break at the same time. Because, a lot of the times, you're going to find yourself going into turns, right behind somebody, breaking into the turn. And then, you're going to want to be firing in front of them. Uh, at the same time. So you really got to learn how to balance both of those buttons at the same time. Um, it really helps out a lot. I don't know how I got that kill you saw just a second. Oh, I almost crashed on my own jet. <laughs> don't know how I got that kill just a second ago, but I still got it. Um, another big tip, if you're having a really hard time unlocking stuff for the jets, this is kind of a glitch, but it does work. What you can do is you can spawn in the game, you know, wherever you want, one of these big jet maps, conquests, spawn with AT mines. Go run, throw shit ton, a shit ton of AT mines down, then go get in a helicopter, get in a jet, whatever you want to get in. If you are in the jet and somebody runs over those AT mines, gets a kill, gets destroyed, whatever it may be, you get the points in the jet. It's kind of weird and it kind of sucks, but if you're having a really hard time unlocking flares or heat-to-heat -heat, uh, air-to-air missiles, something really early, you know, that you need a couple hundred points for, go try that out. You know, it does work. It's kind of cheap, but if you're, you know, desperate for some flares, check that shit out. It does work. Um, so you see here, this is just another strategy. I'm pulling that flanking route down in here, and this is, you know, 14 rockets into the tank does get him disabled if you hit most of them. I try to make another pass and eventually get him killed. I think I'd still get the vehicle destroyed. Not exactly sure it works out, but I do enjoy those rockets. Uh, another thing, if you haven't noticed already, I'm running the air radar, <coughs> which helps out a lot. You notice in the bottom left-hand corner, this is for the helicopters and the jets have it. Um, it really lets you know when somebody's on your tail, and I notice here somebody was shooting at me. You know, I'm trying to make a pass, and I notice the other, these other jets suck, so I'm not really worried too bad about it um another big tip the higher ranking jets do get a permanent un uh, permanent upgrade called below the radar and if you don't know what that is uh basically it allows you to dodge air to air missiles by flying very low to the ground and making it very difficult to lock on there's a pro and a con to this however uh the pro is that you're gonna have to go or you know you can dodge air to air missiles that's the pro the con is you're gonna have to go in a straight line really low to the ground and it allows for another jet to come up behind you and actually shoot you with a machine gun however if you're going fast enough with your afterburners on it can be very difficult for that jet to catch up to you and therefore you know you can still get away and uh, there have been many times when i've actually been able to literally run away from rockets you know just keep going straight out of the conquest area and eventually you'll uh, get away from it um some people have been talking about you know there is one great thing you can trade off your infrared flares for a fire extinguisher and what this fire extinguisher does it basically if you can go down to one percent damage uh and use the fire extinguisher and it'll put you up to 52 percent damage 
and then it will, will automatically reheal up to there. Um, you need to take into note two important things, first of all. Uh, one is that you do not have full control of your jet when you're below 100% damage. You will start spinning out of control. It's very difficult to control. Uh, the second thing to notice is that helicopters fire two missiles that can drop you in one shot if they lock onto you. So, you know, I was running the fire extinguisher for a little bit, but I found it was, uh, I was getting killed by helicopters too easily, and so it just kind of made sense for me to, you know, get rid of it. And here you just see me practice lead in the target, lead in the target. But, you know, you guys let me know. Some people have had hard times uh, using their flares. They don't know exactly when to pop them. Okay, basic thing with flares. There's going to be three sounds you're going to hear when somebody locks onto you with flares. You're going to hear their inertial first beeping sound of them trying to lock on. It's like a slow beeping, beep, beep, beep. It slowly speeds up as they continue their lock on. Then you get the uh, the faster beeping, the and then it turns into a constant beep that they actually locked on is beep. After that beep, there's a, a high pitched fast beep, 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 beep. That means they launch their missiles. That is when you pop your flares. When you hear that last high pitched beep. Now you got to take into account two things. One, in a jet, you usually have a little bit of a time to get away from the missiles for them trying to track you down. And there are occasional times when you can just dodge the missiles in general. Um, and two, in a helicopter, there's a great, great tip for a helicopter. If you don't have a gunner, switch seats, pop your flares in your gunner seat, and then switch back. I've, I've done it a million times. It works great. Um, it, it, it works wonders. So, big clip there. Um, if you have any other questions about the jets, you know, leave them in the comments below. I'm pretty capable in these jets. I've unlocked a lot of stuff. Um, I'm not. I'm, I like to say I'm pretty good, but I, I've definitely come up with some pi come up come up against pilots that are absolutely amazing in these jets. You know, I sometimes I leave kills in the air. I just go for vehicle destroyers, that kind of shit. But it is what it is. I love flying these jets. I've turned into a vehicle horror. The jets, the choppers. I'm loving them so much uh, because they're very strong. And you see here, you know. You do what you can, and I don't get a ton, million, hundred thousand points in this. And it, honestly, the jets kill your score per minute. But this game's about having fun, and that's what I'm doing when I'm ha when I'm flying the jets. Is I'm having a blast. But there's one thing I don't have a blast is is when dice and their servers fail me with the goddamn fucking uh, lag and make me crash, which we'll see at the end here after I shoot down this other jet. Look at this guy trying to do the loop, loop de loop. There's a couple different moves you can try to do to get away. That was a full loop he tried to do there, and then he does a little half loop, and I stay on him the whole time. Um, it really helps, you know, switching back in and in and out of third person, you know, when you're not exactly sure where they are. I'm trying to lead him, trying to lead him, and breaking, 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 breaking. Trying to watch where he's going. He flips it back over. Let's stay straight on him, gas it out, and then we're getting you know, up finish him off with the gun if we can get him get him get him oh, look at this genius don't go straight up uh, a lot of the times when if you if a jet's behind you and you try and loop uh it's really easy shot for the jet machine gun to hit you when you try and go straight up so you really got to try and go side to side and here comes some great you know, i'm trying to make this pass on this tank and then for some reason i just lag and i had control i had control let's flip the flip it dodge it lag right into the hill <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Leave any comments in the questions below. It had to end somehow, right? God. I'll bring more uh, gameplay coming soon. Um, stay tuned. Let me know. Ladies, Leon Trotsky. Till next time. Keeping it real as always.